So on this PTH dependent side, I'm going to split it into a very elevated PTH and then a normal to minimally elevated PTH. If it's a very elevated PTH, you almost certainly can uh, you know, make the diagnosis of primary hyperparathyroidism. Less common diagnoses you could have here are tertiary hyperparathyroidism when you have a patient with long-standing uh, ESRD and parathyroid carcinoma. On this side, with the normal and minimally elevated PTH, it could still be primary hyperparathyroidism, but it could also be uh, the condition of familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia, or FHH for short. What you're going to want to check next is a 24-hour urine calcium. And if that is greater than 250, that is suggestive of primary hyperparathyroidism. And if it's less than 250, then that is suggestive of familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia.